Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm doing a fun, like, Disney collab with one of my good friends here on YouTube, Victoria, also known as Rare Beauty Envy. I'm so glad to have Victoria as a friend. We got to know each other through YouTube, of course. She's got an amazing Instagram page that just really inspires me, so I'll have her Instagram linked down below as well as her YouTube channel. But she's just a beautiful person. I love her. I love her family. We talk like all the time on Instagram, on YouTube, you know, via text and everything. And she's just such an awesome person. And I love her makeup looks. I just, I love everything about her. So make sure you check out her channel down below and make sure you follow both of us on Instagram because there may or may not be some future collabs over there as well. So for this video, I thought it would be fun. I recently, I've been rewatching a bunch of like old movies, not old movies, but I'm rewatching a bunch of movies that I've already seen. And one of them was Coco. I love movies with a soundtrack and the music in Coco is just so good. I love it. And the animation is gorgeous. The colors uh, are so bright. So I thought it'd be fun to do two different Coco inspired eyeshadow looks. So I'm going to be doing one look on each eye. Okay, I'm just going to pin my hair back curls are getting a little too up close there we go so I was supposed to pick just two eyeshadow palettes and do like one palette on each eye but I went through my collection and I'll throw the picture of the uh, poster that inspired me really to do this up over here so I, I was inspired by like the blues the oranges the yellows and the purples so I went through my whole eyeshadow collection and I picked out palettes that I thought kind of matched this and so I picked four so we're gonna be using two on each eye so two for each look the first two that I picked were these two Natasha Denona palettes that I honestly don't reach for as much as I should have, but they match this perfectly. And the first one is the Sunset palette. Of course, these oranges, the red, the yellow. Mm. The other one is the Lila palette. And this is where the purples come in. There's a beautiful gold right here. Ah, beautiful. So I want to use both of these palettes in one look, probably on this eye. And then for the other look, I want to bring in two other palettes. The first one is the Norvina palette, the original from ABH. Again, for like these nice purple kind of tones. And then, you know, to really bring in the blues, Blue Blood by Jeffree Star Cosmetics for all of those. So I've already done the rest of my face except for a lip color, which I don't think I'm going to be doing a lip color because I have no idea how the eyes are going to turn out, to be quite honest. So we're just going to talk through while we do each look. So I'm going to start with the two Natasha Denona palettes, and I don't really have a huge plan here. I'm just going to kind of do what I think might look cool. So this could end up badly. We really don't know yet, <laughs> but we're just going to go along for the ride and see what happens. Yeah, so looking at the poster, I, I just, I love this poster. I love the colors in this poster. It's gorgeous. Looking here, what I think I want to do with these Natasha Denona palettes, I really want to do like a nice, like the, the poster goes from like dark purple, blue, blue, down to like the orange and the yellow. So I really want to do a lid color or a lid look that is more blue purpley based and then a lower lash line that is like gold, and orange and yellow. So I think that's what I'm going to do on this side. So let's see, I'm going to start with the Lila palette. And I really want to go bright. So I think I'm mainly going to be using this bottom row here. I think I'm going to go with the shimmer and the crease because I want to go purpley. So I think I'm going to start with this color and then maybe bring in these two. Ooh, those colors look so pretty together. And I do have to say, for Natasha Denona, like, the price is up there, but, like, they practically blend themselves. I was thinking of doing, like, the wing out like I normally like to do with shadow, but I like this natural shape that I'm getting with this, and I feel like that matches it a bit better. So I think I'm just going to deepen up with, like, this darkest shimmer shade down here. Just the outer V a little bit. But I really don't want to, like, change the shape that I've got going on here just naturally. Because I think it looks so pretty. Yeah, look at that. Okay. So a little bit of fallout. Not too bad. I don't know what I want to do on the lid here. Should I go for, like, a gold? Or, let's see. This. Um, maybe. Let's try these two. Ooh, I like that one. 
yeah the gold's a bit too much but i'm gonna go in with this shade right here and honestly i'm not gonna wear this all day it's already like five o'clock so i'm just gonna just put this on with my finger all over the lid i'm just gonna layer that on and then i'm gonna take a brush and really blend it in all right so i think it looks really pretty for the lid for the lower lash line i really want to go in I don't know, I'm feeling like a nice deep orange and like blending out with a yellow. So I think I'm gonna go in with this orange shade and then blend it out with the yellow shade. Okay, so I have to say I got a lot of fallout there and the orange isn't like as vibrant or bright like I wanted. I don't know, I might try going with another shimmer. I don't know, it's just not the way that I pictured like a bright, you know, orange lower lash line, you know? So let me try going with like a gold shimmer. There. Okay, that's what I'm looking for. That's perfect. So that's what I was looking for. And that is this like yellow gold shade up here. Okay, I'm getting like shadow all in my eye. So to finish this eye up, I just want to go in with like a nice little inner corner highlight and a brown bone highlight. I'm just going to go with this icy white shade. Okay, so there we have it. This is look and eye number one. My eye is watering a little bit just because I did get so much like shadow into my eye when I was trying to work the lower lash line, but I think it's cute. This looks nice. And I never would have thought to like do these kind of colors together before now. Okay, so for this other eye, I really want to go more blue. So I think I'm going to take a nice bright blue shimmer from this palette, put it on first, and then just start building up from there. I kind of want to do the like the wing on this side. So I'm going to take, there's a purpley shade in here. I'm going to take that and build up my wing. That looks really pretty. I like how that turned out. So for my lower lash line, I've been neglecting the Norvina palette. I'm going to use this shade Soul for my lower lash line. And then I think I'm going to go in for an inner corner highlight. I'm probably going to use... This is a very blue heavy look. Let's go with like, this purpley shade right over here. Ooh, that matched like almost perfectly. And here is the final look for eye and look number two. I'm really happy. I think this came out so cute. It's a little bit like, a little bit different. Like this eye, I think this eye looks like the poster like perfectly. I think it came out so cute, especially that shimmer on the lower lash line. This looks a bit less like the poster, but like, I, I really like how it came out. Like, it looks really pretty. <sighs> I, I, I'm so happy that I did this. It got me a little bit out of my comfort zone. I got to relive and rewatch one of my favorite movies. And I was definitely jamming out to the music in between the cuts that I have to make in this video. <laughs> So thank you guys so much for watching and thank you so much Victoria for collabing with me on this. Make sure you guys follow both of our Instagrams because like I said, there may or may not be any more future collabs between the two of us on Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.